Okay, now we shall start the first unit that comes under Part A. In Part A there are four units, in Part B also four units. In Part B we completed the three units to about numerical methods, numerical method one, numerical method two, and Z transforms. In Part A, again four units are there. They are the first units, Fourier series. So as its name tells, Fourier series means when a function is given, we are writing this function as an infinite series. But uh, there are a number of series, expansion for a given function. So Maclaurin series, Taylor series. So like that number of series are there. But here there is a most powerful series and it is called Fourier series. And it is convergent, it is convergence is faster than the all other series. So that Maclaurin series or power series, any series. So this is very fast it has very fast convergence. So that is Fourier series. So it is first introduced by the French mathematician Fourier while solving some problems related to heat conduction. Since then this problem is called a Fourier series. Here every function cannot be expressed as a Fourier series. Only if it is a periodic function then only can express in a Fourier series. The Fourier series means if a periodic function is given, we are writing this one in terms of only cosines and sines. So writing as a cosine series and sine series. Signal of this type. This function is also called signal. Suppose that 0 to t by 2. It is a straight line like this. Right? That means y is equal to some constant. And t by 2 to t. There, suppose it is 0, it is t. It is t by 2 t by 2, 2 it is defined like this. That means another uh, straight line. Here if it is y is equal to k, it is y is equal to minus k. Suppose the function is defined like this. And if it is periodic, it will continue like this only. Again it comes with up and downs. So it is called square waves. Now suppose the function is given like this. How to represent this one in terms of cosines and sines means? You know how this sine curve and cosine curve. Sine curve means sine 0, 0, sine pi by 2 is 1, sine uh, pi is 0, sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1, with up and downs it moves. So, cosine curve also, cos 0 is 1, it is comes from cos 0, 1, cos pi by 2 is uh, 0, and cos pi is minus 1, it go like this. So if you take one cos sine term, cosine curve goes like this only, right? Cosine curve also, it is goes like this. So if you take only one term, cosine term or sine term, it takes this shape. So this cannot approximate this straight line by this curve. But if you take two terms, say let it be cos 2x and uh, sin 2x, sin 2x cos 2x plus sin uh, 3x cos 3x. So like that, if you two two terms you take, you may get a curve of this step with the two up and downs. Like that, if you take infinite number of cosines and sine terms, this straight line can be approximated some curves like this with up and downs. This up and down curves, it is nothing but approximately with the sine curves and cosine curves. So that is a, that a theory behind writing any curve, means it may be any straight line or any curve is given. How to approximate with only a curve of this type? So sine curves and cosine curves. Example, suppose that they ask like this, obtain the Fourier series. Obtain the Fourier series for x minus x square. Obtain the Fourier series for x minus x square from x is equal to minus pi to x is equal to plus pi. That means obtain the Fourier series to represent, or you can write it to represent the function x minus x square from x equal to minus pi to x equal to plus pi. But uh, in addition to this, they ask to deduce something also. Suppose that they are asked to deduce. Hence, deduce that is pi square by 12 equals 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus etc. up to infinity alternately plus minus. Suppose that it is asked to write the Fourier series for this function. 
f of x equal to x minus x square from minus pi to plus pi. Here also from minus pi to plus pi is defined. But here there are two functions. First you shall see what the period. Here period of the periodic function 2L is from where to where you have defined. First to identify the period, then you shall go for even and odd function. From where to where? Mile plus, plus pi to minus pi. Sorry, minus pi to plus pi. That means length of the interval is pi minus minus pi, that is 2 pi. Therefore, L is equal to pi. Since L is pi, first write what is the series we need. Therefore, let f of x is equal to, first there is a constant term, a naught by 2 plus sigma n varies from 1 to infinity, n into cos n pi x by l. But since l is pi, pi pi get cancelled, we get cos n x only. In the beginning you can write this much only, plus sigma n varies from 1 to infinity, b n into sin n x into sin n x will be the series for this, be the series. That means Fourier series. So this one you have to write. So first step is you have to find a naught, a and b l. But here what is f of x here? x minus x square. x is your odd function, x square is even function. So it contains both the functions. If it is only even, then you can write b n is 0. If it is only odd function, then you can say that a naught is 0, a n is 0. But here there are two terms. One is odd function, is another function. So while evaluating that integral, we shall see which becomes 0, which is non-zero. So first we shall see how to get it. First you have to find a naught. So here I can't say a naught is 0, a n is 0, b n is 0 because it contains both odd and even function. So what is the definition for a naught? 1 by L, but L is pi. Integration from minus pi to plus pi into f of x into dx. This is the definition. That's 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi f of x. What is f of x? x minus x squared into dx. You know how to integrate this, but instead of integrating this, you separate this integral because one is odd and is e1. No? If you split it, one integral immediately becomes 0. Another is 2 times in the half range you can integrate. So instead of evaluating directly, you can split it. That is 1 by pi into what is that? First integral is x, that is minus pi to plus pi x into dx, integral of this minus, integral of the second, but 1 by pi is common, we can write separately, minus pi to plus pi x squared into dx. Now without integration, we can write the answer for the first integral. It is minus pi to plus pi defined. What is x here? x is odd function. You should remember that always. With the power of the variable is x, x, x cube, x of phi, all these are odd functions. E1 means E1 function. So you see x is here, odd function. What about x square? It is E1 function. So since it's odd function, integral from minus pi to plus pi, immediately without integration, I'll write it as 0. Minus this 1 by pi is there. Since it is E1, <coughs> I'll write 2 times. So 2 times 1 by pi into 0 to pi. What is this? x squared into dx. That you can integrate so easily. That is what you got is a naught is minus 2 by pi. Then what is the integral of x squared? We told integral of x to the power n is x to the power n plus 100 by n plus 1. So it is x cube by 3 from 0 to pi only. In the half range you can integrate. It is nothing but minus 2 by pi. When you put upper limit, it is pi q by 3 minus lower limit is 0 q by 3 means 0. So 1 pi get cancelled. So you got a naught as minus 2 by 3 pi q by pi means pi square. This is the value for a naught. Next you have to find a n. What is the definition for a n? 1 by pi integral from minus pi to plus pi f of x into cos n pi x by l, but l is pi, so cos n x only <coughs> into dx. <coughs> that is 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi 
what is f of x? f of x is this one, where is it written? The given function x minus x square. So, we write x minus x square into cos nx into dx. This also you can integrate directly by taking this one as u is v, but since it is known that x is odd and x square is e1 and cos x is e1, you split it. So, one integral becomes odd function, integral of odd function, another becomes integral of e1 function. So, it directly one integral becomes 0. So, for that reason, since it is known e1 and odd, split it. But entire thing you can't say. So, it is 1 by pi minus pi to plus pi. First, it is x into cos n x x into cos n x dx, right? Then minus x squared into cos n x minus, but this integral is there, right? This constant minus pi to plus pi x squared into cos n x into dx, you can write. Now, what about the first one? x is odd, cos n x is e1. Cos n function is always e1. So that odd into e1, this entire thing is odd function. Whereas x square is e1, this also e1 e1 into e1 is e1. This product is e1 function. So, what about this integral? Integral of an odd function from minus a to plus a is always 0. Since it is minus pi to plus pi, it is 0. But here it is e1 function. For e1 function, 2 times 0 to pi. So, it is minus 2 by pi integrate from 0 to pi only instead of minus pi to plus pi. This function same function, x squared into cos n x. Now, this is similar to the previous problem, the same formula, right? This integral of u v, how to integrate? u into integral of v once minus u dash into integral of e1 v2 plus u double dash into v3, continue like this. This formula you have to apply. So, here minus 2 by pi is common. First function u, u out right, what is this? x square into v1 means integral of cos n x. I to repeat, integral of cos x is sin a x by a. That means coefficient of x. Here it is sin n x by coefficient of x is m divided by m. Next minus derivative of the first. Derivative this u dash. That means derivative of x square. It is 2x. Then integral sin n x by n. But this n is constant here constant can be taken outside. So, integral of sin n x is <coughs> integral of cos n x is sin n x by n. Integral of sin n x is minus cos n x by n. So, this becomes minus cos n x by n. n into the old n. Total we get n square. Next plus x square return its derivative 2 x. Again derivative of 2 x what is derivative of 2x? It is 2 only. So, derivative of 2x is 2. Again integrate this. This n square is constant. That remains the same. Integral of cos nx is sin nx by n, but this minus n is there. So, do not write minus of minus plus in the beginning. After integration only you have to simplify. So, integral of minus cos nx is minus sin nx by n q. From where to where you have to integrate? Next derivative is 0 because x square is derivative to x, again it is derivative 2. From 0 to pi you have to evaluate. Limits are 0 to pi. Now almost all problems the same type of integrals. But in the beginning I return, sin n pi is always 0. If you put upper limit is pi here, what you get? Sin n pi. The last term also you get sin n pi. Lower limit is 0. So upper limit or lower limit, whenever sin terms comes, immediately it can vanish. This big terms become 0, this also become 0. It may be upper limit or lower limit. Only for this put the limits. So, what you get? So, we get a n s, it is minus 2 by pi, it is constant. So, this term is 0, you return. Here, minus of minus plus, upper limit is pi. So, 2 into pi out, right? 2 pi into cos, x is pi. So, cos n pi by lower limit is n square minus lower limit is 0. So, here x is there. If you put x is 0, 0 into anything is 0. It is eliminated. So, here pi, this pi get cancelled. What you get is minus 2 into 2 minus 4 by n square. But cos n pi, what is cos n pi? 
cos n pi means minus 1 to the power n by n square. So this is the value of an. So n is equal to got minus 4 into minus 1 to the power n by n square. Next you have to find bn. So a0 is over, an is over. Next you have to find bn. So what is bn? So get it. bn is again formula 1 by l. l is pi minus pi function. But this asks to deduce something. To deduce that result, what you can do is you put what we need. We need 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square, etc. we need. So all the numerator must be 1 and this term must vanish, you know, sign terms. So for that reason, you put x is equal to 0, sign 0, all this become 0, cos 0 is 1. So you put x is equal to 0. That implies, what is f of 0? f of x, what is taken f of x? f of x means x minus x square. So if you put f of 0, 0 minus 0 square means 0 only. So f of 0, 0. So this equation becomes, therefore, 0 equals, it is minus pi square by 3 because f of 0, it is 0 only, plus 4 into cos 0, it is 1, 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square, etc. up to infinity again. Take this one to the left hand side. So this becomes pi square by 3 equals, this is nothing but 4 into, it is 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square, etc. up to infinity. Take 4 to the left hand side. So we get pi square by 12 equals, what is this? It is 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square, etc. up to infinity. This is the Fourier series for this function. So here, how we got uh, the series means? First, uh, get the constants a0, an, and bn, substitute it, and depending on the series we need, to give some values to 